I think Zach Wilson needs to grow up. Yeah. Like I, I don't, I don't think any of this has anything to do with his ability as a, as a quarterback. He can make every throw. He can do all of that. Yeah. You know, Geno Smith is ten years into his NFL career now, and he's playing better than he ever had. Well, when he was a Jets quarterback. It was so bad that one of his teammates broke his jaw by punching him in the that, face. That ended okay. his death career. EK, EK, IK Impanala, wasn't that his name? That's IK right. Impanala? Who then went yeah, to the so Bills. Yeah. So, so anyway, my, my, the point, yeah. But yeah, my, the point here is that Zach just needs a reboot. And I don't know if that's ever going to be where it's going to work in New York. Like Zach, and I've said this before, Zach grew up in a very small town in an isolated place in Utah. And then went all the way to BYU for his college experience. Okay. Let's just say the BYU college experience might be slightly more limited than the worldview you'll find as the quarterback for the New York Jets. Okay. In in New York freaking city. All right. <laughs> to me, all of Zach's issues have to do with how he relates to people, how he relates to teammates. Does he understand the job? One of the reasons Carson Wentz is about to be on his fourth team in four years, in my opinion, is because when he was in Indianapolis, they said, hey, we'd like you to come in on your off day and help with the quarterback room. And he was like, yeah, it's the day I go hunting. Wrong answer. You don't understand the job. Like when Zach was asked about, do you owe the apology to the defense? He said, no, right. no, yeah. you don't understand the job. Even this it's a new job. That's a new segment on this show moving forward, by the way. Right. You don't understand the gig. <laughs> Even the last thing he said after the season, when they said, whoever they bring in, I'm going to make his life a living hell in practice. Right. You still don't get the job. You know, you don't understand. Okay. Yeah. The answer should have been, hey, man, whoever they bring in, awesome. I look forward to the competition. Iron sharpens iron, steel, fire, steel. We're going to all make this together. He still doesn't get the gig. So yeah. to me, the problems with Zach are here to here, not here down through the rest of his body. Earlier the thing is, is, you know, they, everybody talks about that press conference after the Patriot game. You go back to his rookie year, in the press conferences after the losses, he was not taking responsibility. And people in the league were saying, you know, this guy's got to learn. He is the quarterback. He is the man. Yeah. He is the face of the franchise. So, you know, it was it, it was not this the, the Patriot uh, post game press conference was nothing new. It was just a continuation of yeah. what went on his rookie year. And you would have thought that his manager, his agent or somebody would have pulled him aside and said, hey, listen, you know, you're the number two pick. You're the quarterback. You, you're the guy that has to lead the franchise.